In this video, we'll state the famous Poincaré Bendixson theorem. Although I suppose any time you call a mathematical theorem famous, that word needs an asterisk next to it. The Poincaré Bendixson theorem involves a trapping regions. You've got a trapping region D, and your trajectory starts in that trapping region. Ergo, it's stuck there forever. And the Poincaré Bendixson theorem answers the question, what kind of behaviors can we expect from this trajectory? I mean, we know it's stuck in this trapping region, but maybe it um, still manages to exhibit complicated behavior. Like maybe it does some sign of one over X thing where it's stuck in this trapping region but we see infinitely many oscillations as time passes, except no. The Poincaré Bendixson theorem says that we do not see a complicated behavior. If a trajectory starts in a trapping region, there are only three things that could happen. Well, first of all, this could be a fixed point. Then as time passes, the trajectory sits forever at the fixed point. Or two. The initial condition could be on an orbit. Then there are two possible things that could happen. Neither of them particularly complicated. If the orbit is a periodic orbit and the initial condition is on it, then as time passes, we just travel around the orbit forever. If instead of a periodic orbit, we have a homoclinic orbit, and we start on this homoclinic orbit, then as time passes, we asymptotically approach a fix point. Likewise, if we have a heteroclinic orbit between fixed points, and we start on the heteroclinic orbit, then as time passes, we approach a fixed point. What if we are not starting at a fixed point, and we're not starting at an orbit, if we do not start on a fixed point or an orbit, then as time passes, we asymptotically approach a fixed point or an orbit. So suppose we have a trapping region, and the trapping region has a fixed point in it, 
point that say an asymptotically stable fixed point over here. And then it has three fixed points creating a heteroxynic orbit. And these are the only fixed points or orbits in the trapping region. And we start somewhere in the trapping region. Here's x0, y0. Then only one of two things can happen. Either we approach this orbit, sorry, this fixed point, or we asymptotically approach this orbit. Those are the only possibilities. Yes.